The Koch videos are sponsored by The Little Rail House of Wellingborough. Hello you beautiful lot, my name's Purple And I'm Leanne We and today we're down at the Koch Of course because it's just fantastic, look at it oh. First day without rain <laughs> Yeah, first day without rain um, yeah, it is about that time of the month that we ask for your donations because, well, we don't earn much for YouTube and to be honest, I think for what I could get in donations, I get in advertisement things. So if it means I can get a decent amount of donations, it means I can do away with the adverts. So, yeah, because it doesn't pay much. <laughs> it really don't. Um, T-shirts are done really well as well. So um, if you'd like a T-shirt, just message us over. But with all that... Me and Jamie, we head over to Blissworth in Northampton because we just want to have a look at where the Blissworth to uh, Peterborough Railway once was, the London and North Western Railway. So um, I am planning on doing a massive walk from Blissworth through to Peterborough and probably take a big camp bag and camp out overnight and film it every step of the way. So um, yeah, Jamie's helping me kind of map everything out. So. We ended up very, right at the very beginning at where Blissworth Station used to be. And Blissworth Station is extremely, it was a highly important network for all trains to come up from London and scoot off in different directions. So um, yeah, here's the video of Blissworth Station. What a beautiful day this is. Now I've come out to Northampton Blissworth. Now I do believe we have the Blissworth Station site right here well the old yard they call this and very close by it's got to be the start of the london and northwestern railway blissworth to peterborough line it's right here now i have got the grand uncle bulgaria the great womble with me Hello. who's uh, just having a quick look at the board so uh, well, i'm trying to find out the details here and jamie's just having a look at the map and uh Oh, we've got a train. Yes! What have we got? Oh, wow! That's, That's a there. fast the one! Old yard. The, the so, old yard. Yeah, that might be. Let's have a quick look here then. So, the railway bridge across the canal. This bridge taken the London to Birmingham railway across the canal between bridges 48 and 49 was designed and built by Robert Stevenson's son. So the Stevenson railway engine, yeah, the yeah, real yeah. old one. Uh, the picture shows the bridge in the yeah, early 1960s. It? Yes, the it was. The first intercity from Liverpool to Manchester. And that was George Stevenson's, wasn't it? It was, yeah, with um, the Stevenson's local. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah and that yeah. was the rocket, wasn't it? The rocket. And they actually crashed on that day and someone and someone got really badly injured. They did. And the rocket is down at Digcock Railway Centre. Is it really? I've seen that. Oh, yeah, okay. absolutely I'll brilliant. I'll right, yeah. still trying to find this, this. Okay. Well, the picture shows ribs were encased in concrete and when commercial carrying still existed on the waterway. Construction of the bridge. And the Blissworth Hotel, 1908. Thomas Shaw, owner of the Angel Hotel Northampton, commissioned the railway hotel, Blissworth Hotel, across the road. That is a pretty fancy it building. Isn't it is it, beautiful. Right, let me see. Yeah, um, across the road and laid out pleasure gardens behind it. Successive owners added a roller skating rink and a concert hall and a Lido. So just like what we had in Wilby. Uh, the range of entertainment offered can be seen on the poster from 1879. Cheap excursion tickets enabled thousands of people to enjoy visits to this former resort. And that would be there. That's cool. hope you can read that right. Ah, the Blissworth Station. It is where it started then. Yeah, awesome. The Blissworth Junction on the West Coast Main Line was the railway crossroads of Britain and a station was built here in 1845. It was an important stop on the first intercity line between London, Euston and Birmingham, Curzon Street uh, with connections to all points east and west. The station closed to passengers in January 1960 and that would be closed due to beaching closures once again. It would be at that time, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. 
That's absolutely brilliant. I mean, the Carl Island Houston Express. Look at that. Uh, that's why I'm struggling. I'm on the wrong map. I need the 1988. So that's absolutely amazing. Jamie's just having a look on the overlay maps. And of course, as he does that, I'll put over my overlay map so you can see what this place used to look like. Right, so we've got it. So that's the hotel as it was in, when does it say? It doesn't say on here, but yeah. about 1900. That's it, and it's got an arm that goes up off there. So it's literally just in that direction there. So this was a main junction for all the railways coming up from London to then decide which way they would go. It was so important, this station. Yeah. And of course, it was downgraded as soon as they started making stations in Northampton. So, yeah. Yeah, and then there, there is where we were the other week. There's the locks. That's the one. So it's following those locks. But when you do the overlay, take the overlay back, you can see that now that is the A43. Is. Yeah, well, there you go. That will do. Right, OK. On to the next mission of the day. So if you like the video, then please hit the like and subscribe button for me. And uh, check out Jamie's Facebook group, Welcome to Wombledon, where we can teach you how to turn other people's rubbish into something great. <laughs> All that in mind, peace, love and light. We're touching all fans unity. Bye, mate. Bye-bye, mate.